We can change the behavior of any of the pages in our Typo3 installation by modifying its page properties. In this short video, I'm going to cover some of the more basic page properties you can change on any given page in your Typo3 installation. So the first thing I'm going to do is select the page I wish to edit, and then select the Edit Page Properties icon. We'll start with the General tab. Here I can change the page title for my page. Underneath I get a preview of what URL will be rendered for that page. In this example we have the Contact Us page. If I change the page title to something else, I can reload the slug and get a preview of what the new URL will look like once I've changed the page title. Next we have the SEO tab where we can provide search engines with information about this page. On the social media tab we can provide meta information for both Facebook and Twitter. The metadata page is used primarily to store information about who is editing that page. Here you can attach an author's name and email address and also set when the last time the page was updated. Next we have the appearance tab. Here we can select what template our page will use. With the behavior tab we can set the cache lifetime for a given page. With the resources tab we can assign media to a given page which can then be rendered in the front end. With the language tab we can specify whether a page should be rendered in the front end in a given language. With the access tab we can set a page's visibility and we can also specify if a page should be rendered in any front end menus. In the access tab we can also specify a publish date and an end date so that we could potentially schedule a page to go live and then disappear on a given date. The categories tab allows us to assign different categories to this page. And finally we have the notes tab. Here I can share notes with other back-end users and pass on any information I need to about a given page. 